Very good morning to you all. Before we come to the act of remembrance today, we have some messages to share with you from some of our schools. And the schools, of course, can't be here today just because of where we are with regard to the COVID pandemic situation. And we know there will be many more that would be here with us today if it were not for them. But at the same time, we know that they are indeed at home, wherever they are, thinking of this moment, as indeed the nation stands together. A message from James and Thomas from St. Mary's Roman Catholic School. Today we remember and acknowledge those who have fought for what is right, for those who have laid down their lives overseas, for those who have had loved ones cruelly taken away from them. We remember especially those who have given their lives in war, something which is totally out of their control. And finally, we pray for a peaceful future free from the atrocities of war where all can live together as one. A poem from Austin of Front Street Primary School. Boom, bang, boom, bang. That is the sound that the people heard after World War I began. Until the war ended, the nurses tended injured people who had been injured by the lethal weapon. Every few seconds, people died, but they did provide an opportunity to defeat the other side. We will never forget them. Instead, we will remember them. On this, the 11th of November, we will remember them and what they did for us. And also from Front Street, a poem by Eleanor and Isabel from Year 6. What a soldier sees. Dear Mother, every morning as the war dies, as soldiers look out towards the skies and then we see the sign of love a beautiful white snowy dove then we look down to the ground and see blood and mud all around i feel the tears sting my eyes and yet again i look up to the skies every morning my pals and i pick up our guns and give a sigh we don't like shooting we don't like death. We get ready to fire with one deep breath. However, on the battlefield, one single poppy grows between the mud and blood. It thrives and lives and glows. A sign of hope, a sign of love. I look up again to see the dove.
and we have some messages from Fellside Community Primary, firstly from Sophie from Year 6. Dear friend, on this Remembrance Sunday, we thank you for your sacrifice, enabling us to enjoy our freedom and peace. Your courage and strength is inspiring to us all. We will remember you. And from Eva, dear servicemen and women, past and present, at home and overseas, remembrance is an important time for us to reflect upon your sacrifice by wearing a copy. We thank you for devoting your lives to making the world a safer place. Today, you bring us together in unity and peace. You will not be forgotten. As a prelude to the act of remembrance, five minutes before we begin, we have one or two more messages and a prayer of remembering. So you are welcome to just have a little mull around, a little chat, and I'll call us all back to order shortly. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we have a message, two messages from Clover Hill Primary School. <coughs> we remember today the people that have risked their lives for our freedom. Poppies help us remember that fateful day in November. A poppy is a sign, a sign of remembrance. Each poppy that is worn is a thank you to those who lost their life. Let us stand in silence to show our respect and to keep them in our hearts forever. <coughs> and on this day we wear poppies with pride we stand in silence and remember the men women and children who lost their lives we will remember those sent to war to protect generations in the future, to protect our nation. Many lives were saved because of their bravery. They will be forever in our thoughts, in our prayers and in our hearts. A Prayer of Remembrance by Aaron and Sean from Year 6 of the Wickham Parochial Church of England Primary School. Dear God, although we are saddened at the thought of the soldiers and civilians who have died and left their families behind, today we remember their courage and bravery in sacrificing themselves for us. We thank them for what they did. We are grateful for the soldiers who went out to war to fight for our country and our world. Putting themselves in danger, our lives would have been so very different without the freedom they won and we enjoyed. We thank them for what they did for us. We remember those who fought and were mentally stricken or injured due to the terror of war and we pray for them to find happiness. Lord bless them and bring them peace. Amen.
we meet in the presence of God. Let us remember before him and commend to his sure keeping those who have died for their country in war, those whom we knew and whose memory we treasure, and all who have lived and died in the service of humankind. They shall not grow old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. Great. We will remember them. Pray, pray, shun! As we come to the laying of the wreath, may I remind us all here today that there are many organizations and groups laying wreaths across the day here at the War Memorial. There will be less wreaths laid, as I call names up, and that is only because of our current situation. But we know many more will be laid, 
and we do offer our prayers around them later in the day. If you have brought a wreath with you, then please do wait till people disperse following the ceremony and come, and when it's safe to do so, lay your wreath. The wreaths that are to be laid. The wreath made by the Deputy Lord Lieutenant Major Nigel Worley Birch on behalf of Her Majesty the Queen. Ward councillors on behalf of the Mayor of Gateshead and the residents of Wickham. The Huxley family on behalf of Ben Huxley killed in World War I and Ben and Will Huxley killed in World War II. The Watson family on behalf of Sapa David Watson, who was killed in Afghanistan in 2009. The police force, the fire and rescue service, and the North East Ambulance Service. Wickham Squadron Royal Air Force Air Cadets. <laughs> Customers of the Bay Horse, the Bridal Path, and the Harry Clasper. The Friends of Chase Park and Lighting Up Wickham. <laughs> Residents of the Manor House and Wickham Hermitage Community Garden.
the Rotary Club of Wickham and Wickham 41 Club. Wickham Fellside Women's Institute and Wickham Village Bells Women's Institute Group. Wickham Cricket Club and Wickham Football Club. Wickham Golf Club, Wickham Veteran Bowls Club and Wickham Traders. St Mary's Parish Church and Wickham Churches together. Ever living God, we remember those whom you have gathered from the storm of war into the peace of your presence. May that same peace calm our fears, bring justice to all people, and establish harmony among the nations. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The choir will now sing two verses of O oh God our help in ages past. sacrifice and we stand here today we are called to bring peace for this generation and for the future so let us now commit ourselves to responsible living and faithful service would you respond to the next three questions with the words we will will you strive for all that makes for peace we will will you seek to heal the wounds of war, we will. Will you work for a just future for all humanity? We will. Then merciful God, we offer to you the fears in us that have not yet been cast out by your love. May we accept the hope you have placed in our hearts and the hearts of all people, that we may live lives of justice, courage and mercy through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We stand and sing the national anthem. Great Shun!
grant to the living grace, to the departed rest, and to the world and its people peace and concord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you all, with all whom you love, this day and forevermore. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.